Hi everyone, in this video I'm demonstrating how to do a one-way ANOVA using PHSTAT in Excel. I've opened the mobile electronics data set which is available on the book website and now I'm going to use this data to do an F-test for differences among more than two means. So you can see here I've got the four locations in aisle front, the kiosk and the expert. So what we are going to do now is go to our add-ins, PHSTAT. We're going to do multiple sample tests and pick the one-way ANOVA. The level of significance is 0.05. We're going to specify the group data cell range. The first cell does contain a label and I'm going to clear the Tukey Kramer procedure. Now you see you have your one-way ANOVA. So now let's interpret our output. The F test for differences among more than two means to determine if these means are sufficiently different to conclude that the population means are not equal is performed here. And you can see that we have an F statistic of 88.2186. So under the null hypothesis, the four means are equal. Under the alternative, not all these means are equal. So we need to find the SSA, the SSW, and the SST. We can see that the SSA is 11.6217. The SSW is 0 0.7026. And the sum of squares total SST is 12.3243. We know that C is 4 and N is 20. Therefore, the degrees of freedom for SSA are going to be 3. For SSW, these will be 16. And the total sum of squares, which are N minus 1, are going to be 20 minus 1, which gives us 19. We also have the MSA and the MSW computed for us in column D. Dividing the MSA by the MSW gives you the F statistic, which is 8.2186. We're comparing this to a critical F value, which has three numerator degrees of freedom and 16 denominator degrees of freedom. If you look at the F table for 0.05, you will get a critical value of 3.2389. Comparing the two gives us a p-value of 0. This means we're able to reject the null and say that the four means are not all equal. Remember the three assumptions for ANOVA are randomness and independence, where we select random samples from the C groups, or we randomly assign the levels, normality, where the sample values for each group are from a normal population, and lastly, homogeneity of variance, where all populations sampled from have the same variance, and this can be tested with Levine's test. So Levine's test tests the assumption that the variances of each population are equal. Under the null hypothesis, all the sigma squares are equal, and under the alternative, not all sigma squares are equal. What we do is compute the absolute value of the difference between each value and the median of each group. Then you perform a one-way ANOVA on these absolute differences. This gives you an F statistic from which you can find a p-value to determine whether or not you can reject the null. So we're back to our mobile data. We're going to go to add-ins, pH stat, multiple sample tests, and we're going to do the Levine test. We're going to choose a type 1 error rate or level of significance of 0.05. Then we'll select our data. And since the first cells do contain a label, we leave the box checked. We'll give it a title and hit OK. So we have an F statistic of 1.0556. The critical value was computed previously and it's 3.2389. This gives us a p-value of 0.3953. So we failed to reject the null that all variances are equal. 